Um, if you're someone that struggles with pelvic organ prolapse, with diastasis recti, with incontinence, um, something to be aware of is just in your general um, posture or alignment. I'm going to kind of use those interchangeably. Um, as we begin to talk about this, it's important to understand that nobody is going to stay in perfect posture all the time. That is not how, that is not how humans function, right? Um, but it's just something to keep in mind, um, just to be aware of. And one really great way to get feedback is take a picture. Um, have someone take a picture of maybe you just standing, doing everyday tasks like um, making dinner or holding your baby. Have someone, have someone take a picture just to get a little bit of feedback on how you stand. Um, and then the next really great way is while you're working out, just video yourself. I know for some people that can be kind of hard and awkward, but it does provide a lot of feedback on how your body is moving. Um, for me, I really, really figured out how much I compensate with my lower back um, because of a weak core. And so I, I, still, I still deal with that. Um, but it just provides really great feedback for things that I can work on. So in general, um, what we see most women doing is standing like this. You know, have you ever noticed when you're holding your baby, you really compensate maybe with your hip and you're like this, but a lot of times we're clenching our butt, right? And then this leaves this whole area exposed. And we understand that with, um, when we're trying to heal our core, um, we really want to think about our ribs being stacked over our hips. Now, again, are we going to stand like this all the time? No, but it's just something to be aware of. Ribs stacked over your hips. Um, so we see a lot of women that are bunk butt clenchers. Um, and then we see a lot of women that are rib thrusters. Sometimes um, if women have a background in dance or something cheerleading, I don't, something where they had to really have good posture. Well, again, when you're thrusting your ribs forward, I'm not even that... Um, flexible to be able to do that. But when we're spilling forward like this, again, we're going to be compensating with our lower back. So what we really want to think about is keeping our pelvis neutral. We don't want it here. We don't want it here, but we really want to think about keeping it in a nice neutral position. Um, you can think about that during exercise. You can think about that um, just kind of during your every, everyday life. But a lot of women that struggle with these pelvic floor symptoms um, tend to be more symptomatic when their posture is not in, in alignment. And we start compensating in other ways. And that's when we have um, lower back problems. That's when we may experience some more leaking. Um, so something to be aware of. Um, that can maybe be a little bit piece of homework for you. Figure out what your natural posture is like and then let me know.